Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm with a new Opel Insignia Sports Tourer GSI 2021 model and in this video I will review the car for you, interior, exterior, technical data, everything about this car you will find out in this video. So stay with me until the end uh, if you want to find out everything about this. This is one of the most beautiful, one of the most sportier car uh, ever built by Opel and it's incredible. I have to tell you that this is my favorite car from Opel in 2021 and that's why I chose to review it again and also I will make a test drive video, separate video. If you want to see that video, click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out. Before we go forward, if you're new on my channel, just click the subscribe button to see all the new videos, all the new cars that will come on the market. I want to tell you that I'm in Switzerland at Gallicker Garage. I will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car, if you want to see the car if you want to test drive it check them out the price of the car is 51,900 francs you can also check out on the internet if you are in Switzerland or around Switzerland this is the car guys also you can call them you can come here and tell them you see my videos you come from me and they will make you a nice discount before we go forward I want to give you the technical data and then we will go forward so first of all I want to tell you that the car come with a two liter petrol engine four cylinders in line 230 horsepower 350 newton meters it's all wheel drive and also it's connected to a nine speed automatic transmission the fuel tank capacity of the car 62 liters 199 co2 emission in vltp maximum speed 235 kilometer 0 to 100 in 7.6 seconds the car come with ventilated brake discs in the front ventilated brake discs on the rear also red brake calipers brembo brakes amazing brakes in the car i was really impressed in this price with how many features this opal insignia come it comes with 20 inch rims you will see it when we go outside they are super beautiful 11.1 meter is the turning radius also the trunk capacity 532 liters and if you fold down the seats 1638 liters it's incredible practical so opal make one of the most practical family car and estate combi cars it's incredible how much space you have in the back we will see a little bit later also the front suspension independent mcpherson coil spring with anti-roll bar the rear suspension multi-link coil spring with anti-roll bar those are the most important information about the car. All I want to say, guys, is that model that I have it with me, it's kind of a full option model. It comes with this gorgeous leather GSI seats, electric adjustable seats, ventilated seats, heated seats, both sound system, all that safety features and everything. It's, it's just almost full. We will see that in the video. So I guess let's start the review, guys. This is the key. It's a simple, nice key. Also, what you can do with the key is just lock the car, unlock the car. Also, the car come with keyless entry. So all you have to do, have the key in your pocket. You can lock the car and you can unlock the car by pressing this button on the handle. So you don't have to actually physically use those button on the key. Then you can open the the trunk automatically because it comes with uh, automatic lift gate here in the trunk and also you can close it as well the same way press it two times simple as that so that's what you can do with the key and look at this this is the exterior we will talk also about the lights in a second but i want to show you first of all the exterior in my opinion it's a beautiful design i like very much the rims it fits really good with the car in my opinion also the lines the shape of the car super beautiful i like it one of the most beautiful estate in this class and as i said in my other video in the test drive this is my favorite opal car in 2021 if i had to buy an opal today I will totally go with Insignia and totally go with this combi version. The design of the car, it's incredible nice. I don't know about you, but I love very much everything I love about the car. I like very much this chrome design here on the roof rails where you can add some extra storage. I like the radio antenna, glossy plastic. I like very much the roof spoiler here in the back with a little bit of glossy plastic here on the side. The brake lights are uh, up here. LED light as well. Then you have tinted window in the back. You have a wiper, lovely shape. I like also the fact that they add glossy plastic around the windows. This is the new trend. Tinted windows here in the back. 
Uh, you can see here big windows. You have great visibility from the interior. I will show you as we go uh, a little bit later. The car comes with camera here and sensors for raining and light. The camera for reading the traffic speed limit also helped with the lane assist. You can see the front of the car, the bumper, the hood. It's nice. It has this line here in the middle sharp line beautiful and also the way it comes the grill it's kind of unique for for opal really really beautiful i like it simple grill classic from opal then you have some chrome design insertion opal logo here air intakes if you go down here on the side you have kind of a uh, design it's not any air intakes or stuff like that it's just made for the design some chrome you have six sensors in the front by the way guys those are for blind spot technology those are for parking other than that beautiful design beautiful lines beautiful shapes down here on the bumper also some air intakes to cool down the engine and different parts there and this is it guys really nice really nice front of the car if I go on the side and see the skirt down here sporty skirt they added extra on this model GSI look beautiful give to the car a sporty look more aggressive nicer look I like very much the skirt down there and also it's very helpful because it protects the down part of the car from scratches and stones and stuff like that from rust in time even this area here this plastic it's useful from rust in time it's really really useful to have this protection here the car will last uh, longer if you go here in the back you can see again six sensors those are for blind spot technology those are for parking sensors lovely bumper in the back some light reflectors here with glossy plastic then you go down here you have exhaust pipes real exhaust pipes inside there inside those fake ones glossy plastic down here and then on the other side another exhaust pipe real one insignia gsi lovely and opal logo in the middle that's it guys here on the lights i wish they can improve it a little bit for example the turning signals no led light it's just a normal halogen light the fog lamp as well, the same halogen light. The tail lights, it's LED and it looks lovely. I think if they improve this, the car will be 10% much nicer, much cooler. The chrome, I like the way it comes here inside the, the tail lights. And on the other side, the same story. Even the reverse light, if you ask me, it's a bulb light, no LED. So that's something to keep in mind. Now let's go to the number plate. You have a reverse camera here and you have an LED light, only one light here in the middle to illuminate the number. Here on the right side, you have the tank, easy fuel tank, not in many cars you find that. You just put it in, press it, you don't have to open any cap to get dirty. I like that. I like the fact that you can also lock the car and unlock the car from all four doors. You have this button, the handle also lovely, simple. The quality of the doors, you can hear yourself quite good big mirror you can see the blind spot here in the corner light black mirrors lovely glossy black mirrors down here you have an LED light to illuminate the floor in the nighttime the blinker you have a blinker here on the side of the car it's a normal bulb light halogen light here I don't know why they don't use it Opal uh, use on all the model on Astra or all models have the blinkers on the body of the car and not here on the mirror in the front it's other story. We have the latest technology in terms of LED lights from Opal. Is this IntelliLux LED light. You can see right here writing. LED lights, turning signals, matrix LED light, headlights, adaptive headlights, LED. They look beautiful. And they are also super, super good uh, in the nighttime. Look at those rims. Oh yeah, 20 inch rims on this Opal Insignia Sports Tour. GSI look crazy crazy I love them Michelin Pilot Sport 4 great tires 20 inch rims Brembo brakes you can see there ventilated brake discs huge they are awesome not only they look perfect with the car perfect they fit really good but also when you drive it check out the test drive on my channel the video I tell you there are more they are incredible even in the back here you can see the, the red brake helpers. You can see the ventilated brake disc in the rear here. It's lovely. Engine hood. Let me open the hood. Let's see here. We have... Okay. It's an automatic liftgate. I like that. This is good. 
and this is the engine, two liter petrol engine, turbo, 230 horsepower, 350 newton meters, four cylinders in line. Look at this, air filter, look how big it is, how much air has come inside the engine. It's awesome, it looks really awesome. Turbo there, this is the fuse box I think, or not. Yes, the fuse box is here, and this is the battery here. Liquid for the wipers here and the liquid cooling is there in the back and also i like very much this insulation here that they added that's why i didn't hear so much noise from the from the engine inside press the button symbolize that and here you have the triangle and the vest here you have the button to close it handle what it's impressive is the space here in the trunk it's one of the most spacious car in this class and yeah, Opel, they are kind of known for the space in the trunk. Huge entrance here. I like this aluminum plate at the entrance. I like the fact that you have a flat floor so you can carry your stuff without any problem here. Really awesome. You have hooks. You can also adjust those hooks wherever you want. You press this button, you put it left, right, back, forward. Here you have kind of a story space in the left side, in the right side. You have medical kit, a lot of space there. Under the floor, guys, you don't have so much space because I will tell you in a second. This car it's a four wheel drive and they have to stick it in somewhere the system, so you don't have so much space under the floor here. But you still have some storage space here where you have the, the speaker, the Bose sound system. Yeah, if it wasn't here, maybe you have more space, but it's here. If you want a good sound, you have to make some compromise. Then you have also some hooks. The button to fold down the seats, I will show you in a second. It's awesome. 12 volt port here. Another hook, a normal light, bulb light. Then you have this protection here that you can adjust it the way you want it. That's great as well. I love it. I will take it out also to show you how much space you have uh, in a second. But overall, very big trunk uh, where you can fit in a lot of stuff let me take that out and let's fold down the seat all right I just take out that protection now you can see one more time the way it looks the great part is that you can fold down the middle part and I have to stretch out pretty much because come on go down because it's really long this trunk here it's really long from here to there I have to stretch up a lot a lot a lot stretch off and it's great that you can carry long items in the middle there and you still have two passengers in the back that's the great part I love that but you don't have to stretch out when you fall down the the left or the right side but if you want to fall down the middle part you have to stretch out but if you want to fall down the seats you easily press this button just like that look at this one second boom it's one of the best system one of the fast system uh, on the market and you have a flat floor that's the most impressive thing man i mean it's practical really practical in terms of practicality if i'm not wrong it has around 1600 and something liters with all those seats folded down and it's incredible to have a kind of a sporty car with a lot of storage and space for your family you can fit in so many things here big entrance here the door is not opening too much 90 degrees or something like that uh, but the entrance is huge really huge entrance and you can see one more time here very good quality here behind the seats i like the fact that you have this flat floor here it's really long man really long i don't know if you can see it on the video but from reality you will understand what i mean also here look how much space you have here on the legs room the transmission tunnel it's quite big but you have so much space here behind the seat really spacious i like it i like it now i will have to put everything back and we will go inside to see the interior of the car we make here this window my favorite design of window in the rear one small fix and one that can be folded all the way down and that's awesome because you have great visibility from the interior i will show you when we go inside so yeah it's great array uh, then you have here soft material so keep in mind no plastic guys here it's soft everywhere on the upper side then you have this uh, gray matte kind of design handle here you have leather soft material here in this area soft material in this area very good quality you can see the stitches 
the window button here, handle, storage space, quite big, and you have the speaker, Bose sound system. Really good quality on the doors, I like that. Then going inside, big entrance as I told you, then you can see that the car come with these leather seats, special GSI, very good quality seats, I tell you guys, I sit on them, I drive the car, they are awesome. And you have even here on this area, you don't have any plastic here, usually many cars have plastic here. In this Opel Insignia here you have leather, and soft material, that's awesome for the passengers. You have the leather here, you can see the stitches, you can see right here also little holes, very good quality. Isofix, you can install two child seats here in the back, really good side support. They are really, really awesome those seats, I like them very much to be honest. Here in the middle you have armrest, two cup holders, really, really useful as well. And behind the front seat, you have some plastic to protect the seats, sporty seats. Transmission tunnel is quite big, uh, but we will test in a moment. You have heated seats in the back also for the passenger. You have small vents here and you have two USB, two ports. Really useful. These days, they are awesome. Let's go inside. Let's see how much space I have here. Close the door. This is in my driving position, by the way. This is, this is adjusted in my driving position. This is a little bit backward. I think you can see it. And look at this. Look at, look at the space, man. This is, this is crazy spacious. I can stretch up my legs under the front seat. In terms of space, it's, it's incredible. I mean, this is one of the most spacious estate car, combi car. Look at the space, a head space. It's crazy spacious. You need a sporty, spacious car. And, and when you see it from outside, you didn't even notice it's so spacious. You have this handle hook, good quality on the roof. I like it. It's kind of soft and nice, really good quality on the roof. The position on the seats, it's very good, very comfortable, very good quality. Also, this leather, it's great. Also, you have soft here, soft here. So it's, it's crazy comfortable. And my favorite part is the visibility, as I told you. Big window in the front, window here. And in the back, you have another window that is also defrosted in the winter. It's huge. It's crazy. It's like you can have third row, seven seats here in this car. It's crazy, crazy. Up here, you have also these LED lights. I like that, good quality. And if you want to go in the middle, you have this transmission tunnel that is bigger. But once you are in the middle, look at the space. Here it's more in the back. It's crazy. In terms of space, it's really crazy. Also in the middle, you have a lot of space on your head. Stretch up my hand completely. Completely, no problem. Free person, no problem here. Even adults, free adults you can have here. A lot of space. The only thing is that it's a little bit stiffer down here and also the back it's stiffer in the middle but that's normal for all the cars so not only on this one but overall it's so much space man here yeah. i love it really nice great job we will go in the front now and we will talk a little bit about multimedia system steering wheel and all the stuff right there uh, but in my opinion it's pretty classic design for opal this dashboard but it looks nice futuristic simple good visibility around there and yeah it's quite modern in my opinion if you ask me anyway let's go in the front i like the fact that you have a big window from one pieces so it's not interrupted so you have a good visibility in the mirror then you have a speaker small speaker here on the upper side of course soft material everywhere on the upper side here you have the same gray handle feel nice lock and unlock button down here again leather and soft material soft and leather here with white stitches handle the buttons for electric uh, adjustable mirrors you have also the button for the windows also if i'm not wrong you can fold in the mirrors from this button look at this you can fold it in fold it out then you have plenty of storage space here and you have also this option to open the trunk the way you want it third fourth or full maximum then you have the Bose sound system. You can see right here, right in the Bose. So you have great sound system, guys. Then at the entrance down here, you have the GSI. I like very much this plate. One of the most beautiful plate at the entrance in the car is this one with GSI. GSI on the carpet, aluminum pedals, lovely pedals. Then you have this AGR action, healthy seats, something like that 
for your back so those seats are really high quality electric adjustment in every position you have also kind of a um, I think it's massage on your seats here also you can adjust the, the the middle part the side part you can save the position you can also adjust this front part here they are heated seats ventilated seats that's awesome you have side support proper seats one of the best seats for sure on the market you have the GSI logo there uh, you have this beautiful design up here really really proper sporty car I, I love the seats guys really um, they are super nice totally deserve the money and yeah they put a lot of work in those seats then if I go forward here you open the, the front you see it before here is the light you can turn on and off the light the brightness of the screen and here is the fog lamp then here you have soft material impressive that here begins soft material from here up uh, and then here you have soft everywhere on the dash you have soft material and then you have the vent pretty simple not something incredible it's not super smooth and soft but it's nice then you have the button for head-up display you can adjust it up and down info here and then you have the brightness of the screen right there let me zoom in so you can see it better adjustment steering wheel from down here up down left right the way you want it you can adjust it super simple just press it back and it's done let's go inside the car visibility around the windows perfect nothing to say in the mirror very good visibility so nothing here to worry about also in the back there even though the car have a reverse camera you have great visibility you can see one more time the seats in the back here you have armrest leather very good here you have plenty of storage space to put your stuff cards and wherever you want to put you have two usb port you have a, a sd card there so other than that plenty of storage space and then here you have also another space for your key for example then you have electronic handbrake i love that glossy plastic you have this transmission stick uh, nine speed automatic transmission and yeah, you can change the different modes there press the brake let me show you here is the start engine button start the engine yeah you can see even the seats will adjust automatically when i go inside here okay leave it like that anyway when you go in reverse you will see that the car come with a reverse camera that have very good resolution i like it to be honest it's one of the best reverse camera on the market very good resolution if i go forward let me go back in parking electronic handbrake on so you can see also the button when it's on you have the all-wheel drive button here you can activate it then you have the three different driving modes from here you can change different driving modes i will show you now on the screen you have normal sport and tour i explain more about that in my test drive video so check it out lane assist you can activate it from here and deactivate it then you have the start stop engine button then you have the parking assist parking sensors super simple two cup holders there and a small space here for your key and a 12 volt port down there in the front so that's it there in the front also you can close this if you want to just like that anyway going a little bit forward you can turn on the climatic system from here and the climatic system it's simple you can use it really simple from here uh, also it comes with heated seats ventilated seats that's awesome to have these options on this car it's really really helpful if i go on the right side here guys keep in mind you have soft material in this area this one here uh, then open the glow box it's pretty big not huge but pretty big you have an led light also up there it's quite nice here you have soft material everywhere vents vents up here nice integrated multimedia system in the middle right here i like the way they integrate it down here you have the blinker you have the home button you have kind of a shortcut buttons physical button back here's the volume for the music here is the traction control on and off button and yeah the multimedia system guys i have another video special with this multimedia system check it out on my channel there you can see it completely i go in every single detail but it's simple it uses a touch screen you can use it with touch and it's very responsive it's not super fancy like mercedes one but the great part of it is that it's crazy responsive it, it every time you press a button it's go directly there so that was something that impressed me the most you have shortcut buttons down here can go in different menus for example here you have the climatic system you can 
change the different views and stuff. Then you have the navigation here. That look at look how look how responsive it is. That was really impressive for me. It's one of the most impressive how responsive it is. It's crazy. Look look how fast it worked. The processor, the RAM behind it. It's really. I, I wish I can see this in in all the cars. It's it's really really impressive. I like that. And also when you set a destination, for example here, you just press drive, and it will get there in no time. New Please destination start. To the highlighted road. It's it's super 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 easy to use it and I like it. Also it should go there. You can see the traffic, no traffic information. Uh, and here you have also show on map and different options. Really, really nice. I like this uh, navigation system. Now then you have the telephone here, you can connect your phone, contact and stuff like that. Then you have the media here, simple radio. Then you have the home. On the home you have more uh, user, you can have your user, you can connect your Android Auto and iPhone, for example. Then you have the setting, the climatic system, you already see it. And on the first page, it's like this. This is kind of the home page where you see the navigation and the radio. And then you go here, you have time, date, all the settings of the car, language, phone, wireless, display, sound. You can use the sound to, to change different options and settings. And then you go to app. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Audio. Here on the Audio, you have tone settings. Also, another, another options here. So, climatic system, navigation, phone, vehicle. Here you can have collision detection, all that stuff. Light, remote door. Here you can change and activate, deactivate different safety features of the car. So it's simple. It's nice. It works really fast. As you see right now, every time you press a button, it's super fast. Uh, one of the most fastest one, to be honest. Then you have the head of display. That it's lovely. I don't know if you can see it there. It's really lovely. It's perfect there. The only thing is that it's, it's, it's made on a small, small square. And when you move a little bit upper, you can see upper or left, you cannot see it anymore. So if the square was a little bit bigger, was was nicer, like I see on the other car models. But other than that, lovely head up display, very nice blended there on the windshield directly. That's nice. Then if you go to the digital kind of digital cockpit, because it's half half analogical and digital in the middle, it's nice. It's not bad. You can change different functions here on the right side. So you can go to, to see the trip B that I, that I will use it for the test drive. So the consumption was around 13. I drive a little bit sportier. You can see all kinds of information here from oil. You can see the, the pressure on the tires, the timer, the driver assistance systems, the follow distance, the echo and cycle and stuff like that. So yeah, overall it's interesting. It's interesting, you can see also the navigation, for example, it's, yeah, it's navigation, the telephone, you can have it in the middle. You don't have the, the full map, keep in mind, you have only some directions, but yeah, other than that, I think they have to improve this in the future. Uh, the car will be much nicer with the digital uh, display there, and I think they will come with it for sure. Other than that, great visibility here, easy to reach all the buttons while you're driving, so it's no problem. And the steering wheel, it's also awesome, I like it very much. Leather, good grip, nice grip, I should say also little holes here, very nice steering wheel. Very good quality when you touch it. Uh, also the buttons for cruise control and different function like limit the cruise control the distance from you and the car in front so this is for the cruise control you have the pedals to change the gear manual if you want to while you're driving and here is the controller for the cockpit if i go up you can see the mirror here quite relatively good visibility in the back there and up here i like the fact that you have a glasses support i love that not many cars have it led light led light and here you have also led lights with a mirror i love it good quality handle and yeah that was the video let me stop the engine i want to tell you something you know this car that i have it with me right here that i reviewed today it's drive by the boss of the galley car in switzerland so you can choose so many cars for example from peugeot from jeep from alfa romeo from opel or yeah whatever other car they have also renault he chose to drive this one because 
it's super spacious tell me it has so much space so good quality and easy to drive and also economical so that's a tip for you guys that was the review with this opal insignia sports tourer gsi i love the quality of the car it's incredible the space it's incredible the quality it's incredible uh, of course they can improve a few things here and there for example cockpit i wish i can see it different i don't know what they can improve it i have to think about that anyway a lot of great quality also on the doors the exterior design it's, it's awesome i love the exterior design ah yeah i know on the exterior the lights on the rear i want to see only led lights they are economical they are nice i don't see any reason why they should not use it all the time on all cars that was the review my rating for this car from 1 to 10 taking into consideration the price will be 9.5 it's a good rating also guys i will leave the link in the description to the car if you are in switzerland around here if you want to see it if you want to test it if you want to buy it come here at gallica auto tell them you see my video you want a discount they will make you a good price thank you for watching as always i really appreciate it, guys thank you very much also don't forget to like share subscribe because uh, if you subscribe click on the notification bell and you will see all the notification when a new video will come out you can see also the test drive with the same car uh, it will come soon on the channel just click the subscribe button other than that guys thank you for watching don't forget to check out our website sdadancar.com there you find a lot of articles about cars videos tips and stuff like that thank you for watching stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys